guys. What's going on here? Thought I told you fellas not to get on our show, huh? Oh huh? my god, this is it's the second time this week. <laughs> this week we go supernova at the supernova convention checking in on mega fans the cosplay and everything the convention has to offer then we hop into the rusty tardis on a trip to the doctor who fan club of victoria before sitting down with the creators of the i don't want to be a secondary character seinfeld podcast <laughs> Hey. Hi. Welcome to Fanbase. You all right? Those boys were sharp. Today we're talking everything TV. Television has become a worldwide phenomenon that has graced our living room since the 60s. That's right. From free-to-air TV to pay TV to streaming services such as Netflix or Stan, we as a generation developed new and exciting ways to watch our favourite shows. From sitcoms, dramas, reality TV shows and the news, viewers have been tuning in for decades. Yes, TV. Whether you want to laugh, cry or be inspired, there is a television show for you, including this one. Now, tell them where you went, Aaron. I went to... Supernova, Aaron. Uh, Supernova. Supernova. I, I, I went to Supernova. Uh, let's go take a look. Is this thing on? I'm just kidding. It's actually a pen. Hey, I'm Aaron. Thanks for throwing over to me, Aaron. Uh, I'm here at the uh, Supernova convention in Melbourne. We're going to go check out some pop culture stuff. Uh, so come along for the wild ride. I'm here with Darcy, who is uh, a really big Rick and Morty fan, but Darcy, that's not why you're here. T tell me why you're here at the, at the Supernova convention. Well, I'm a massive comic nerd. I've been to Comic-Con, Supernova PAX, all, all that jazz. But I, I actually have a bit of a story to tell oh, about yeah. myself. Go for it. Well, I'm guessing you have seen Thor Ragnarok. I have seen Thor Ragnarok, have you? Yes, I have seen Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> why, am, why am I bringing it up? <laughs> Go for it. Um, Tell us the story. So, I, I had pretty that a surgery in mm. 2015 that didn't go as planned. Okay. So, the Starlight Foundation flew me up to, um, to Queensland to the set of Thor Ragnarok. Real? You, you're on the set of Thor Ragnarok? Yeah. On the actual set? Whoa. And I was chatting to, I was chatting to Chris... I was chatting to Chris Hemsworth and at the moment they were filming the scene where um, Thor and Hulk were fighting in the big gladiator arena. Yeah. Well, Thor, uh, Chris comes to me and he says, have you got any suggestions for lines? And then I go, how about we know each other, he's a friend from work. <laughs> and then... So you're responsible for that line in the film. Yes. Oh, that's amazing, Darcy. I lost my mind when it was in the trailer. <laughs> I lost my mind when he mentioned it was a Make-A-Wish kid, which actually it was a star. Get it right, Chris. <laughs> God damn it, Chris. And then I lost my mind when he invited me up to the premiere for my birthday. Oh my God. And also, I forgot to mention, on the set, he gave me his personal email, so I chat to him every week, and he gets back. Um, he gets back to me within I don't know a day at the most. Oh, that's and, fantastic! That's great. And yeah, on the actual red carpet premiere itself, Chris actually got into quite a bit of trouble because. He spent too much time catching up with me than the other kids <laughs> that had gone up. I love that. So you guys are like best mates. Yeah. Hey, Chris Hemsworth, if you're out there, catch up with me and Darcy for a little bit of cup of, cup of coffee sometime. Yeah, hey. yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate. You go to Melbourne for the footy. Come on. Come join us. Thanks so much, Darcy. Fantastic. No problem, man.
I'm here with uh, Chewbacca. Um, Chewbacca, you, you having a nice um, time at the convention today? Oh, we're here with the Tin Man. Now, Mr. Tin Man, I heard you got a heart from the Wizard of Oz. I was just wondering mm -hmm. if he's dishing out any free personalities. I'm in the business for one. I'm looking for one. Do you know? Well, the Wizard has a bit of a cult of personality, and I'm okay. sure he could spare yeah, some. Yeah, you sure he get me some? If, if you slip a good word in, then I can, I can go pick myself oh. up. I will have to ask him a question to do that. Okay. <laughs> ah! 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 No. Oh, no. This boy needs to leave. Okay. Right. We need to solve the mystery of my parents' murder. All right, Batman. Um, go get him. Why does the attention always have to always be on you? To... You can't let me have five. There minutes. you go, sir. Thanks, Batman. You jackass. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> concludes uh, our little time at Supernova today and let me tell you it was super wink so uh, let's uh, let's head off uh, and back to you in the studio Aaron Wow that was so intense Darcy's such a cool kid yes he really was Erica and thank you so much to everyone who we met there who was willing to share their love for pop culture with us it was amazing to get to see what you guys do you can really see how committed they are. Great reporting, Aaron, oh, by the way. Stop it, I must you. be really rubbing stop. off on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of mega fans, it goes without saying that one of the longest running series of all time, Doctor Who, has inspired quite a dedicated army over its impressive 37 season run. That's right, Erica, but who are these fans? Well, lucky for me, the Doctor Who fan club of Victoria happened to be hanging out at Supernova while I was there. So I checked in on them to see what being a Whovian is really all about. What year is it? Just kidding, I know it's 2019. I'm here at the Doctor Who club. We're gonna be talking about Doctor Who, time and space. Let's go find out a little bit about all that kind of stuff. <music> I'm here with Christian, the uh, treasurer of the Doctor Who Club. I have a couple of questions for Christian. I don't know what I'm asking. Uh, what's, uh, what drew you to the club in the first place? How did you get involved? Well, actually, the answer to that is actually my husband. Really? He was actually the one that got me involved in the club and actually into Doctor Who. Oh, I was more really? a Star Trek fan. Oh, originally. really? <laughs> so am I. Oh, well, well, we actually met at the Star Trek club, but that's another oh, story. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fantastic. What was your favourite part about being a part of the club now? Great fans of these mm. events and our mm. own events. Yeah, it's a great community to be part of. I'm here with Philip, who's the president of the Doctor Who Club here today. And um, Philip, I wanted to ask how you got involved in the club in the first place. Yeah, I got first got involved with the Doctor Who Club Victoria in uh, September 1989. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you've been doing this for a couple of decades now. Yeah. Then. How fantastic. Uh, yeah. yeah, almost uh, 30 years ago, wow. I guess. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And what's the furthest you've gone to uh, kind of commit to your fandom of Doctor Who? Wow. I met uh, Peter Capaldi last year. Really? Well, we went to the Doctor Who Festival originally. Mm. Um, well, we met Sylvester McCoy at Oz Comic Con. Wow. Originally a Whovention with the yeah. Doctor Who Club of Australia. Oh yeah, by the way, we're, we're about to celebrate our 40th anniversary. Really? Um, because of Tom Baker. Mm. He came to this country 40 years ago. Mm. And uh, we're going to have a cruise on the Arrow Yep. See you guys back in the studio. Well, that was a doctor hoot, wasn't it? <laughs> Where's all that laughing coming from? Well, Erica, it's funny you ask. That laughter is coming from the world of sitcoms. But this isn't a sitcom. This is a, um, I don't know what we are, actually. <laughs> Speaking of sitcoms, we were lucky enough to meet with a couple of the podcast peeps who have dedicated the past few years of their lives to studying the excruciating minutia of every single secondary character from Seinfeld. Introducing the awesome Ivan and Stephen from But I Don't Want to Be a Secondary Character. Roll their clip. I'm here with Ivan and Stephen from But I Don't Want to Be a Secondary Character. <laughs> Guys, can you tell me a little bit about your podcast? Well, our podcast is a Seinfeld one, so we talk about the uh, secondary characters from the show. So pretty much anyone from Newman down. 
uh, basically. And uh, yeah, we get an episode in random order um, in the series and uh, yeah, talk about them. We embellish a bit. We add a bit of fictional context to the character as well. We take little bits of them in the episode and build a bit more of a narrative around them as well. So there's a bit of imagination and creativity that we add to the people. Uh, well, we follow a pretty uh, kind of set structure. Um, we always do a bit of Seinfeld news, so anything that's happening with any of the actors or anything related to Seinfeld. Um, we do a little section called Seinfeldisms, where anything in our real lives that we can relate to Seinfeld will mention. So it could be, you know, we see like a Seinfeld poster or like a brand name that is in the show, anything at all, if we can relate it to Seinfeld, we'll, we'll include it. Because with Seinfeld, it was so true to reality that basically anything that happens in real life happened on the show. Yeah. You know, anything to do with like the minutiae of life, of yeah. day-to-day life, it just, it just translates really well. So that's why we have that segment. So I heard you have been nominated for an Australian Podcast Award and you've recently just been over to Sydney. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, it was quite a surprise, I'd say. Um, yeah. You know, we're just a couple of guys talking about Seinfeld and we got nominated for um, Best Fan Cast. So it's basically a pod, like they define it as a podcast where it's for a particular fan base. Have you guys had any special guests on? Uh, just one. One? Uh, yeah, so the actor who played... So there were two actors who played a character named Lloyd Braun. He's uh, George's nemesis in a few episodes. So we had the actor Matt McCoy, who How was in a couple of that? episodes. We just emailed him, I think. Yeah. He was really warm and open to it. He even That's gave us his personal email address as well, and he emailed us directly. And, and mind you, this was like when we first started doing the podcast. Well, thank you so much for coming down and having a chat with me today. Um, back to you in the studio. You know what, Erica? I bloody love working in television. Me too. There's nothing like coming into the studio and just hanging out with your best friend all day. Best friend? Do you really mean that? Yeah, no, but that's the magic of television. See, we can make anything almost seem real. But there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes to make this all happen. So come on, let's go show the audience about what Give happens a bit of a tour. behind the scenes. Give yeah. a tour. Come yeah, on, guys. Come on, let's go. So what we start off with... And that's a wrap on fan base. We've got Harry over <laughs> here with camera one. Now, Harry <laughs> is a great operator of the camera. Can you show them a little bit about how this camera works? To start us off, we have the cameras here, and the cameras are... Oh, look at what we're presenting. After that, we've got the, uh, the wonderful big sliding door, which helps all the sound uh, stay in here and not out there. And uh, follow us into the studio. Come on, Erica. So, this is our studio. We have got the lovely Megan on auto cue. She's a producer and sometimes she hates me, but that's yes. okay. We have sometimes fun here on she makes, uh, our names wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> This is our lovely director, Daniel. He's yes. my personal favourite. He writes most of our scripts and uh, makes me sound like me. So thanks, Daniel. Wow. Up next, we've got Lachlan. Lachlan, what's your role in the studio? Can you tell us a little I'm bit about that? I'm the assistant director. So assistant I communicate director. with your floor manager to make sure you know what to do. Yes. And over here, we have the illustrious, but most importantly, the handsome Matt. Hey, Matt, how you doing? I don't get that. That's cool, man. So <laughs> over here, we have audio, which is why I sound so silky smooth all the time. Um, Erica, do you want to tell us a bit about audio? Um, sorry, Leo, next time, can you just, like, turn Aaron's mics down? Because you, you're just not doing your job. Like, <laughs> like, turn seriously. Mic down next time. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is where I sleep. I'm currently homeless. Um, okay. <laughs> just stay in there, Aaron. Okay. See, authorised persons, personalities, ad personalities only, you know, because... <laughs> Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about how we make our TV show for fans like you. Hi, Mum. <laughs> we hope you'll stick around with us until next week when we get fabulous with our deep dive into the world of drag. It's going to be something you're not going to want to miss. We'll see you next time. Bye.